my name is Prema and welcome to Gratitude Yoga Challenge Day 11. We are outside again enjoying this gorgeous snow. So I will grab my stuff and I'll meet you inside on the mat. Welcome everybody to day 11. So today's theme is nourish. And I was thinking that the most nourishing thing we can do is breathe. <laughs> Without breathing, there's no life. And it's, a, it's also a yogic practice. We call it pranayama. Prana, the essence of our breath, life force. Another, um, and we also have been practicing our breath along with so hum. So hum, the universal mantra, I am that. And that can be, it's that everything. It's that wondrous energy love that creates everything. So some people might say, I am love as their mantra, if they connect to that more than so hum. But so hum is a Sanskrit vibrational energy. So even the sound helps to bring you inside. And we use the breath and the mantra um, or whatever mantra you like to use to bring our awareness inside. So, so hum can also be pronounced as hamsa and hamsa in Sanskrit also means swan. And the swan is symbolic for taking us into grace. It's one of those really graceful beings. So we're going to focus on the swan today and it's amazing how the swan, if you ever watched a swan walk on land, it waddles, it's not so graceful. And it makes me think about how sometimes we are in life. Even sometimes in my practice, I feel clumsy and I feel waddling or even in my thoughts or my actions, sometimes I might do something in a clumsy way. Um, when I'm not feeling connected, you know, you just kind of bump through life. So the swan is also symbolic of that. And then when the swan steps into the water, it's so graceful, it's in its element and it flows. So in the same way, the breath, we can ride the wave of the breath to connect us to our still waters inside, to connect us to that flow of grace in our life. And that is the whole purpose of Soham or Hamsa. So today I invite you to embrace Soham. Let's bring our hands in front of our hearts, connecting to the breath, connecting to your flow, stepping into your grace, and we'll chant one ohm. Inhale. Um. Taking a moment and connecting to your heart, connecting to what you are grateful for, softly bowing your head, entering Stepping into the waters like a swan. Let's try to feel like a swan today. So we're going to move with flow and grace with the breath. So inhale, let's bring up our arms like wings as we reach up and exhale, palms to the earth. You can blow it out if you like. So with the next inhale, we're gonna inhale so. Repeat it, repeat it to yourself. 
as you rise up with your great wings and exhale hum you can even say it with your breath hum and inhale so exhaling hum hands to the earth so continue in your own rhythm here and we're going to flow through our class today a little more of a flow and i do talk about the breath but do what feels good to you stay connected to your breath if i say inhale and you're exhaling it's okay <laughs> I, I try to bring, I talk about the breath to bring your awareness back to the breath. So we'll take our last few big sweeps of our wings and let's take the hands back to the earth. Inhale, left wing up and over and come back and let's do the other side. So keeping your awareness on your breath, see if you can bring your thoughts inward by using so hum, or you might like to use hum sa. You can use either of them. Whatever feels the most natural for you, just like a swan dips, steps into its natural element, and then all of a sudden it goes from being clumsy to being graceful. So whatever it is that brings you, this is why we do our yoga. Sometimes going to nature can bring you into that stillness. And let's come back. So let's inhale, arms up. We're gonna take the left hand to the right wrist. Inhale, lengthen up through that whole side and come over to the left. So you're gently tugging your top wrist with your other hand. So lift the heart and gaze over to the right side. And let's come back, do the other side. Lift the wrist up, stretching up, inhale up and exhale over. If you like, gaze over to the left. and we'll come up releasing our wings down so let's come to all fours and we'll come right into cat and cow hands are clawing the earth bring your wrists a little more forward to the shoulders being aware of our wrists and inhale dip the belly heart to the earth Exhale, expand in the back body, expand your wings up as you arch and take chin to the chest. Inhale down. Exhaling, arching, expanding up to the sky as the wings open. So continue in your own rhythm here, getting into your own flow. Being aware of the breath coming in and out like a wave. I feel like a swan gracefully riding on the waves of a beautiful lake. So now you're gonna sit back, take the hips to the heels, forehead to the earth. Take a breath here allowing anything that you have carried on to your mat, let it melt off of you. Just like water melting off, rolling off a swan's back. Deep inhale, expanding the wings on your back body and exhale, softening and melting, releasing water, off the swan's back. It just rolls right off of you. Let it go. Inhale and let's come up. Let's bring our hands to our hips. We're gonna come onto our, our knees. If you wanna have a blanket under your knees, um, 
You can do that. So you're gonna take the right leg out to the right side. Feel rooted in this left knee on the earth and inhale, rise up. Right hand over to the right leg. So don't put pressure onto your knee. You wanna place your hand right above the thigh or below the knee, but not on the knee. Inhale, left arm up and over. And we're gonna do a couple of sweeping motions. Inhale up and over. And breath moving and the body follows. Just like a bird is gracefully flying in the air. First you breathe and then you follow the breath gracefully and light. So you're gonna end with your arm extending over your right leg. Now we're gonna take the hands, place them out in front of us. We keep this leg firmly pressing into the earth for stability. So let's lengthen through our spine here. We're gonna do a couple of cat and cow, just, a, just um, one round. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, arch up. And then inhale, arch the belly. Stick the hips out as much as you can. Okay, you wanna to try to create a dip in the lower back and you can stay on your hands or maybe you come to your elbows. So we're gonna to try to keep length in our back. That's why we're trying to stick our hips up in the sky so that we create length in the spine instead of rounding forward as such. So try to, try to connect with the lower back here. And we'll take a couple of breaths. Press hands into the earth. And we're gonna walk our hands over. So you have one hand on one side of your right leg and other hand on the other side. So shift your legs over so that they are in alignment with each other. And, we'll, and you wanna make sure that you feel rooted and balanced. So bring your hands to the top thigh. If you need, maybe you need to walk your front foot out a little bit to create more stability between the front and back foot. And then press the front heel and the back knee into the earth. Draw them towards the midline here and that will create more stability in your core. Once you have that connection to your stability, inhale, arms up. And let's open up the elbows, open up the heart until how wonderful as we Draw the shoulder blades onto the back and open the heart up. Release the hands down. Inhale, sweeping motion up. And you can press your front foot into the earth if you like to straighten up a little bit and exhale down. And we're gonna come up, open up the wings and come down. Deep breath in, open up the wings, exhale down. Inhale, open up the wings. And let's bring our hands to our mat here. So on this next posture, you can keep the knee on the earth or lift the back leg. Left hand presses into the earth and inhale, sweep the right arm open. And take a deep breath, expand from the heart out to the fingertips and release the hand to the earth. So we're gonna walk our hands back Shift the hips back, straightening the front leg the best you can here. Lengthening forward, hug muscles above the knee to create this nice stretch in the hamstring. Come back and we'll bring our knees together. Fold forward for a child pose for a breath. Inhale, rise up. Come to the knees. Extend the opposite leg out now. So the back, so your left foot is rooted in the earth here. Hug muscle the bone. Connect, root into the earth, root, and then inhale, lengthen up. Take your left arm over to left side. Inhale the right arm up and over. And we'll do a nice big swooping 
movement. Inhale up and around. Up and over. Moving with the breath like a swan floating on the waves. You're moving on the waves of your breath. Fantastic. And now we're going to end with a side bend here, stretching over to the left side. Now you're going to take your hands over to the earth in front of you. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, arch out. Arch your back like a cat. Inhale, arch the belly. Try to stick the hips up as we arch the belly, as we drop the belly here, trying to create a dip in the lower back. So see if you can maintain that as much as you can. You can stay here or maybe bring your elbows to the floor. We'll stay here for a couple of breaths. And try to maintain length in your back as much as you can, pulling your hips back. Inhale, we'll rise up. Now you're gonna walk your hands over to the left side. So you want your legs to be in alignment with each other. Hands to your thighs. So get a comfortable, stable posture. You might wanna move your left Foot out a little wider if needed. Root the knees into the earth. Hug them towards each other isometrically to connect to your core. Inhale, arms up. Open up the elbows, drawing. Now draw the shoulder blades onto the back like you're drawing your wings onto the back and open up in the heart. Let the hands fall down. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, draw the shoulder blades onto the back, opening up your heart. And let's do this a couple more times. Sweeping, inhale up, shoulder blades onto the back. And let's come up, shoulder blades onto the back. One last time, shoulder blades, hands up and open up the heart. So we're gonna take our right hand to the earth. You can keep the knee on the earth with this twist or lift the back leg. Twist from the belly and expand over. From the heart, expand out through the fingertips. Drop the back knee. We're gonna shift the hips back here, opening up the back of your leg. Hug muscles above the knee, lengthening forward. And we'll come to a child pose for just a breath here. Inhale. And we're gonna, let's come to a cobra. Chin, chest to the earth. Roll shoulders up and back. Hug elbows to the side body. Knees, if you wanna come to a plank, come to a plank or your knees. And let's come shift back to a downward facing dog. Come up on the toes, bend the knees, lengthen through the spine, and then slowly dropping the heels to the earth. Inhale, the, you can do this on all fours if you need to. Extend the right leg up and bend the knee for boy dog here. And lift, release that leg to the earth. Lift the left leg, bend the knee for boy dog on the opposite side. And release that leg to the earth. Inhale, right foot forward. In between the hands. Shift the back heel to the earth, left hand on top of your hip. And you can take your right elbow on top of your knee. Inhale, sweep that left arm over. From the back foot, through the whole side body, extend out through your left fingertips. Expand. From the heart out, and hell rise up. Shift feet, left foot out, right foot comes in. 
bend the knee. Take your elbow to your thigh here. Some of you, if you wanna take your hand to the floor on the outside of the leg or on a block, you can do that too, that's an option. And inhale the arm up overhead for side angle pose. Back foot presses into the earth and expand from the back foot through the whole side body out through the top fingertips. Inhale, rise up. Let's bring our feet facing forward. They're parallel to each other. Hips, hands to your hips. So heel toe your feet in if you need to for a little more of a comfortable um, stance. I'm gonna bend the knees and we're gonna take some deep breaths. Inhale up and exhale down. Moving with the breath in a way that connects you to your flow. Whatever takes your clumsy swan to a graceful swan, just flowing on the water. So whatever brings your swan, your graceful swan out, connect to that flow. So deep inhales and long exhales. Connect to your flow of breath. We're gonna finish with the last round and bend the knees. You're gonna take your hands to your thighs and inhale over the one side, stretching and inhale over to the other side, stretching. Deep breathing, inhale and exhale long. Really get into the side bodies. This also helps to create some more, loosen up energy in our diaphragm. So let's come back to um, center. Take your hands to the floor. So you might need to walk your feet out a little more. If you're, let's bend our knees here, trying to create a dip in the lower back as much as possible. Inhale, expand in the back body. Exhale, dropping the belly, doing a cat and cow here. Expand in the back body, exhale. Drop the belly to the earth. So keep the hips sticking up creating length in the spine as much as possible, the dip in the lower back. If you can straighten the legs, do the best you can. Left hand to the floor, or this is where you can put it on a block or a book. Lengthen through the spine, and we're going to twist and open, and gaze upwards, and like a bird spreading its wings, expand out. And let's take the other side, lengthen through the spine, inhale, twisting from the belly and reach up with your left wing, expanding, gliding on the breath. Keep the legs firm as they press, the feet press into the earth. It'll create more freedom in the upper body. And release down. So bowing forward, you can either bend the knees to bow forward here or keep the legs straight. Maybe your hands come to the floor. If they don't, grab your elbows. Taking a couple more breaths here. And inhale, we'll rise up. We'll heel toe your feet together. Hands to the hips, press feet up and rise up. And we'll meet in the Tadasana. Mountain pose with our hands in front of our hearts, Anjali Mudra. Connecting to your flow. Stepping into your flow of grace. Let's close the eyes for a couple of moments. Lift your toes, spread them on the earth, root all four corners of the feet on the earth. Hug muscle to bone. 
Draw the tailbone down as if you're drawing the buttocks down and in. Counterbalance that with drawing the belly in. Lift the heart, open the eyes. Let's open up the arms, open up our wings, draw the shoulder blades onto the back and open up the heart. And we're gonna release the hands, inhale up and exhale. We're gonna take the right hand under the left. Bringing the elbows together the best you can. Maybe, they, maybe you grab your thumbs here. If you can't do this, then you can take your hands to your shoulders as such. So let's release and we're gonna do that again. Inhale up, now you know where we're going. Take the right arm under the left, maybe a little deeper. There you go, great. Maybe you grab the elbows. And trying to lift the elbows if you can a little bit, hug them towards the midline. So Gadudasana arms, Gadudasana is a big, beautiful bird. So we're gonna press back into our hips, bend the knees and take your right leg over the left. So maybe your toes, maybe you need to take your right toes to the earth for balance. Maybe you can wrap the toes around the back of your calf. So you do what's best for you. Hug everything to the midline, find your stillness. It helps to connect to one point, one place, Hug everything and we'll rise up. Release the wings up, deep inhale, long exhale. Let's open them up, shoulder blades on to the back. Beautiful, bring elbows, hands towards each other. Exhale, open and release the hands down and we'll do the other side. Inhale up, and we're gonna take the left arm under the right. And let's do that again. It's always, it's nice to do it two times because then it, sometimes you find you might be able to move a little deeper into the posture, into the shoulders. So hands together, or maybe you grab your thumbs. And we're gonna sit back into our seat, bend the knees. Take the left leg over the right. You can have the toes on the mat here. Hug everything to the midline here. Or if you wanna to try to wrap the toes around the shin, you can do that. So you're gonna hug everything to the midline. Maybe lift your elbows up a little bit. Connect to your stillness, connect to your breath. Stay here for a couple more breaths. Rise up, release the hands up overhead. Deep inhale, long exhale. So let's open up the legs here and let's just do some free movements, flowing with the breath, with the shoulders and the hips. You can bring the hands up overhead. Just getting into your flow. We've done some beautiful postures to help open the hips and the shoulders. And connecting to your breath and your flow, moving as fast or as slow as you like. Maybe you wanna move a little differently. Wonderful. Let's meet in Tadasana, mountain pose. Connecting to stillness. Let's come on to our back. So let's take the knees a little wider, just rock back and forth a little bit. We're gonna take our right heel to our left knee, clasp hands behind the thigh or top of the shin, coming into eye of the needle, drawing the knee in slowly towards us. With a deep inhale, long exhale here. So you can stay here, or if you wanna move a little deeper into the posture, you can release the, place the left foot on the earth, and then you're gonna cradle 
your right shin, take the right foot into the crook of the arm, the right arm, wrap it around your right knee. You're gonna hug it in like a baby. You can rock back and forth a little if you like. I'm just hugging this in towards us. If, it, if you have any pain in your knee, then this is not a good posture for you. Then you can go back to what we were doing, hugging it in. So wherever you're at, we're gonna take this right knee in, pull it into the chest, pull it over to the side and extend it up to the sky, place hands underneath the thigh, press the thigh into the hand, stretch a foot up to the sky. Wonderful. Release that leg. Now we're gonna take the left foot on top of the right knee. Inhale, drawing the knee in towards us. Deep inhale, long exhale. Deep inhale, long exhale. So if you can stay here, or if you want to cradle your left leg, you place the bottom of the foot into the crook of your elbow and the other arm, wrap it around and you hug it in like a baby. Deep breathing. So you can stay up or lay back. You'll see what works best for you. You'll notice you have one side that's more tight than the other. If it feels good to rock back and forth, you can do that. And then we're going to release, take our left knee, hug it into the chest, bring it over to the left and hug it in. Very good for your lymph nodes in the groin. Extend the left leg up to the sky. Clasp your hands behind the thigh. Press the foot towards the sky. Press the leg into your hands. Resist. Releasing in that left leg. Wonderful. Let go, release everything to the mat. Arms open, head is soft, jaw is relaxed. Close your eyes for a couple of breaths here. We'll stay here for about a minute before we come to meditation. The German poet Rilke wrote this beautiful poem called The Swan. This clumsy living that moves, lumbering as if in ropes through what is not done, reminds us of the awkward way the swan walks, which is the letting go of the ground we stand on and cling to every day is like the swan when he nervously lets himself down into the water, which receives him gaily and which flows joyfully under and after him, wave after wave, while the swan unmoving and marvelously calm is pleased to be carried each moment more fully grown, more like a king further and further on. Connecting to your heart and stillness. Just like Rilke describes the clumsiness of the swan as they walk until the swan lands in the water and transforms into the embodiment of grace. Just as we connect to our flow. And transform. Into the embodiment of grace. So bend your knees and roll over to one side. Taking your time, we'll come up to a seated posture. I'm gonna be whatever is comfortable for you, whether it's on a chair, we're gonna sit.
So once you're seated, if you want to lift up your sit bone, lift up your buttocks, cut on your sit bones, whether you are on a on the floor or in a chair. Place your hands on the thighs or in your lap. If you'd like, you can bring your thumb and fingers together in chin mudra. Connect to the breath, connect to your flow, drawing you inside. Connecting to your grace-filled heart. It's filled with so much compassion and understanding for you and for others. So diving into this space within you, allowing the breath to carry you there. We'll stay here for about a minute. The next breath, coming back to the surface, allowing the breath to go deep inside the long inhale and a long exhale. Open up the hands, bring them in front of our hearts into Anjali Mudra, and we'll close with one ohm. Take a deep inhale. From my heart to yours, namaste. All right, thank you everybody for joining today, day 11, stepping into the flow of grace together, being swans. <laughs> may the rest of your day flow. May you be a swan in your day or night. See you tomorrow on the mat. See you then. <laughs>